Hi everyone, so the sun is out, the weather is perfect. We're gonna take some inspiration from Ratty from The Wind of the Willows, and we're gonna go on a picnic. So this menu is pretty self-explanatory, so there's no real recipe, it's just basic food. To make it a little bit more rustic and authentic to Wind of the Willows, we are gonna wrap everything in brown paper and string, and then we're gonna find some cute glass jars to pour drinks in. So in his picnic basket, Ratty packs some cold chicken, cold tongue, cold ham, cold beef, pickled gherkins, salad, French rolls, cress sandwiches, potted meat, ginger beer, lemonade, soda water, and also a mustard pot, which they don't realize until the end that someone was sitting on it. So for the cold chicken, I roasted one the day before for lunch and just kept some aside to wrap up. Um, in hindsight, you can also just buy a pre-cooked chicken from the store might be a bit easier. For the cold beef, I made silver side for dinner last night. And again, just make more than you need and keep some store for the picnic the next day. For the cold ham, you can purchase ham sandwich slices, or in this case, I purchased just a slice of smoked ham, um, or we'll use a few for the picnic and we'll also keep some for another meal another time. Cold tongue. Yes, you can actually buy it in the stores. I couldn't find it this time, but the last time I had Ratty's picnic, I was able to buy it canned from the stores. You will usually find it near the spam section. Potted meat. Last time I just bought a pate, so I just didn't have too many cuts of meat. This time I found a cute colonial version rather than bringing a can of spam with us. For the crest sandwiches, you are going to need some watercress. Um, you can dress this up as much as you like. Some people put egg in their sandwiches. In our case, I'm just going to butter some slices of bread to pop some washed watercress, uh, cut off some of the stalks and just use the leafy end bits um, and cut them into little triangles for our picnic. For the French rolls, I bought the bake at home type. Uh, nothing tastes better than just out of the oven. You're also gonna need a jar of pickled gherkins as well as a salad. Then to wash it all down, you are going to need some ginger beer, some soda water, and some lemonade. So for the ginger beer, you can grab just a big bottle, you can grab the small bottles. The last time we had our picnic, I poured them into little glass mugs um, with screw-on lids and the lemonade into a glass pop-top flask. Then to finish it off, you are going to need a jar of mustard. At the very end, they find that they were sitting on it the whole time. But for us, you will want your mustard so you can put that with your cold meat. And then to finish it off, you are going to need an adorable little wicker basket. You can find these online, there's lots around. And with that, we're gonna take this outside, enjoy the weather, slow the pace, and enjoy this lost pastime.